Good morning, this is William Robinson with ViralHair.com, and today we're talking to... Greg Burnham. And Greg, what do you do here? Uh, I am a comic book publisher, writer, editor. I also a children's book author. And uh, I have Tusky Years here, I don't know if you can see that, uh, which is uh, our staple comic. Uh, it's futuristic sci-fi, it takes place 80 years from now. We have five teenage pilots that are uh, learning to fly in some P-51s. Uh, one of the most popular planes the Tuskegee Airmen flew. And then uh, but later on they'll get uh, introduced to these jets that will sometimes turn into robots. And they'll be the strongest <laughs> line of defense against the machine army that's coming to take over the world. Neat concept. What was the inspiration for the Tus Tuskegee Airs? Uh, well, of course the Tuskegee Airmen. And, um, but also like our love for all things sci-fi, you know, Gundam, Macross, Transformers, you name it, G.I. Joe, like all the things that uh, culminated that, you know, that we watched and loved as kids that we wish we could have seen more of ourselves in. Right. So, um, you know, it was like trying to figure out how to do it, but not just throw everything in, make it like an organic you know, good story. Like a, a progression as things go on, yeah. the, the tech and the concepts change. Correct. And you said, uh, what other books do you have that you also, as part of your publishing uh, line? So, The Search for Sonica is my newer series. And this is actually a historical action adventure. It takes place in the 1920s. And the young lady's going to flee Tulsa, Oklahoma after the Black Wall Street Massacre. Right. She's going to go on a quest across the southwest United States looking for a mythological land that she believes her ancestors come from. Uh, it's actually based on some existing mythology. I'm really happy. You can't see I have a mask, but I'm smiling. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and um, so on the way through her, you know, her quest, she'll end up becoming a hero to different people. Um, it's really cool because there's a lot of like lesser known um, you know, history that, uh, you know, about black people and indigenous people that we don't get, you know, to talk about. So, I mean, while I'm researching and writing this book, I'm learning things that I didn't know. I'm right. a history major, but I'm just excited to be able to share these with other people. And again, um, even though we use, like, these, like, historical things as backdrops, uh, you know, it's like the goal is to tell like a really entertaining story. Right. Yeah, so um, so far I have two and a half issues of that and been getting really good reviews. Um, so I think we're moving in the right track with this one as well. Now, is Tuskegee Airs a search for Sadika uh, kind of like your anchor books? So you can expand any from those titles or just stay with kind of like a certain number at this time? Oh, uh, no. Um, I like. I'm kind of a free agent, uh, just like Marcus. So um, even though I'm doing these, I'm working on this uh, with uh, a New Orleans native, Jason Reeves. Um, and this is beautiful barbecue. It's a horror slash comedy. It's it's a lot of a lot of cool stuff. But um, we're working on this. It actually takes place in New Orleans, and um, so we're you know hopefully. This should be out by the end of this year, hopefully before. Um, so I'm working on that, as well as I have another series that I'm working on. I should have had a poster queued up, but I don't. <laughs> but another series that I'm working on. Um, we did uh, a, a six-page short, short in a, a book called Nora's The New Black. Um, Fabrice Sapolsky is right down here. And he, Fair Square Comics is his publishing house. And so we did it under them. So I'm actually working on the next chapter of that as well. Um, then a few other things right. that I... And are you going to be touring with different cons for a while? Or are you guys mostly home-based? Oh, no. You? So we're uh, Atlanta-based. Okay. And um, we, we go, we tour all over. <laughs> uh, Pre-pandemic, we were doing around 30 shows a year. Okay. Um, Last year, I think we did like 15, um, because you know the first half of the year was the end, you know nothing was happening. But yeah, so we, you know, we hit the road. We uh, recently, last month we were in Seattle, Chicago. We had one at, in Atlanta, but we're always. You know, moving. All right. Thank you very much for your time, and I hope you have a great show. Thank you.